stop for a second and just point out this is a, a little guitar part of this descending line thing. I had written a very slow or started kind of a slow soulful song with this pattern. And I went. <laughs> finished it and so a few years later I was playing that just a lot faster mm -hmm. and it ended up becoming the basis of this song yeah. which the Dixie Chicks recorded Probably did better with that sped up, I would think. <laughs> yes, I yeah. think quite a lot better. That's awesome. Since we're talking about guitar riffs, I had to throw in a little bit of Pinball Wizard at the end by the Who. <laughs> Very nice. You know, it helps any song, at the end of any song. Exactly. Pinball Wizard. <clears throat> is, is that a song you also feel almost trans, could translate over to a rock? Yeah, movie? you know, not around the time that that was uh, on the radio, I got signed uh, to Vanguard Records to, to do kind of a blues rock deal. And Brent Mayer, my good buddy who was producing the record, really thought uh, There's Your Trouble could work on there in, the monks, in amongst some of my kind of bluesy and rock and stuff. Because he's like, man, it's, got, it's just groovy and soulful. It's kind of Van Morrison-y, you know? And I was like, you're right, it is. But I, I don't know, I don't, it seems a little too major chord sounding and peppy kind of compared to my more heavy rocking stuff but we tried it we we cut it and Glenn Wharf was playing a really cool bass part on it you know you can imagine um, but it you know we couldn't really make it fit in and I think it's partly because it's just a little too bright sounding in a way and lyrically um, even though the songs funky and everything it just it didn't quite work it seemed it seemed like it would but it didn't quite um, you know 